அதுக்காக <laughs> tanglish adada tamil english kalandu nama pesmo they generally say laughter is timeless imagination has no age and dreams are forever this man's journey from ordinary to extraordinary is something which cannot be described in one line or one sentence from a very very humble beginning to reaching the heights where he is today it's his hard work his dedication avrudeya vetri ku pinadi pala per irukalam ana avrudeya vetri avrudeya vetri mattum dhaan adha solvanga na boy next door nama veetu paiya andha mari da irukkar andha kaalathilende inni varaikkum on screen irukatom off screen irukatom that boy next door image avaru paakumbodhu edho namma koodave irukra maadhiri oru feeling ellarkum varum the same simple boy and avarudi a success paakumbodhu one thing makes sure that if you have the grit courage perseverance and passion for what you are doing your success will come looking for you my friends ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together and let us celebrate the success story of namma veetu pillai namma doctor namma don namma varthapadada valivar sangam thalaivar shivakarthikeyan எல்லா நல்ல விஷயங்கள் ஆரம்பிக்கிறது முன்னாடி ஸ்வீட்டோட ஆரம்பிக்கணும் பாங்க அதனால தான் சிவா அவங்களுடைய ஃபேவரட் குலாப் ஜாமுன் உங்களுக்காக அண்ணா நம்ம கூட தான் இருக்க போறாரு கவலைப்படாதீங்க
அவருக்கு ஐஸ்கிரீம் வித் குலாப் ஜாமுன் ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் ஐஸ்கிரீமை கொண்டு வந்தோம் ஆனால் அது மெல்ட் ஆகிடுச்சு ஸோ ஐஸ்கிரீம் இல்லாமல் இவரும் குலாப் ஜாமுன் கொடுத்துருக்கேன் அண்ணாவோட சிவா இந்த க்ரௌட் அந்த என்சியாசம் நீங்கள் பார்க்குறீங்க இன்னைக்கு நம்ம பேச போகிறது உங்களுடைய ஜேர்னி ரைட் ஃப்ரம் த டைம் வென் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் இட் ஆஸ் அ யங் பாய் யூ எஜுகேஷன் ட்ரிச்சி யூ ஆர் அன் இன்ஜினியர் யோசிக்கிறாரு நம்ம அதுதான் பண்ணுவோம் இல்லை பட் யூனோ எல்லாருக்கும் வந்து அது நம்ம எல்லாரும் லாஸ்ட் பெஞ்ச் பா அதில் கவலைப்படாதீங்க நம்ம பாதி பேர் அவுட் ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் தான் பாதி நேரம் கிளாஸ்க்கு வெளியில் இருப்போம் சரிங்களா பட் ஐ திங்க் யூனோ உங்களுடைய ஜேர்னி பார்க்கும்போது ஃப்ரம் டெலிவிஷன் டு பிக் ஸ்க்ரீன் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்மால் ஸ்க்ரீன் டு பிக் ட்ரீம்ஸ் எல்லாருக்கும் அது சக்ஸஸ் கிடைக்காது ஸோ நீங்கள் சொல்லுங்க வாட் வாஸ் யுவர் ஜேர்னி லைஃப் பல தடவை நீங்கள் பேசியிருப்பீங்க பட் வி ரியலி வாண்ட் டு நோ ஏன்னா பீப்புள் ஹேவ் கம் ஃப்ரம் ஆல் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கண்ட்ரி எல்லாருக்கும் குட் மார்னிங் ஹாய் தேங்க் யூ தேங்க் யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் திஸ் லவ் எனக்கு வந்து ஃபஸ்ட்டு இதை ஃபுல்லாக இங்கிலீஷில் பேசணுமா தமிழில் பேசணுமானு எனக்கு தெரியல தங்கிலீஷ் தங்கிலீஷ் வந்து அதுவும் எஸ்எம்எஸ் அனுப்பும்போது தான் வருது அதுவே ஸ்பெல்லிங் மிஸ்டேக்கில் ஆட்டோ கரெக்டாகி தான் பண்ண வேண்டி இருக்கு எனக்கு <laughs> 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 ஒரு <laughs> 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 ரஜினி சார் குஷ்பு மேமோட சாங்ஸ் மட்டும் ஒரு ஹாஃப் அன் ஹவர் பிளே பண்ணாங்க எல்லா சாங்ஸும் மேம் நான் அப்போ கூட நினைச்சேன் இப்போ போய் நம்ம மேம் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ இந்த மொமெண்ட் எல்லாம் இருக்குல்ல எனக்கு தெரியாது வென் ஐ வாட்ச் யூ ஆன் பிக் ஸ்க்ரீன் தட் நானும் ஒரு நாள் பிக் ஸ்க்ரீனில் இருப்பேன்றதெல்லாம் நான் நினைக்கல பிளான் பண்ணல பட் தேர் வாஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் அ பிக் டிசைர் ஒரு ஒரு ஆசை இருந்தது டு என்டர்டெயின் த ஆடியன்ஸ் ஸ்டேஜுக்கு போகணும் நம்ம பேசணும் நம்ம பேசுறத கேட்டு எவ்ரி ஒன் ஷுட் கிளாப் சேர் அப்ரிஷியேட் அந்த சவுண்ட் நம்ம கேட்கணும் அது திருப்பி திருப்பி கேட்டுகிட்டே இருக்கணுன்றது மட்டும்தான் ஐ ஹேட் இன் மை மைண்ட் எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜ் வாஸ் இன் மை காலேஜ் வென் ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் மை இன்ஜினியரிங் என் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ்லாம் சேர்ந்து சூப்பர் சூப்பர் யூஆர் டூயிங் மிமிக்ரி அமேசிங்லி யூ கோ கோ அண்ட் தே மேட் மீ மிமிக் மை டிசிப்ளினரி கமிட்டி ஸ்டாஃப்ஸ் மேம் ஸோ அங்கே ஸ்டார்ட் ஆனது தான் இந்த ஜேர்னி லக்கிலி தே டென் சஸ்பெண்ட் மீ ஆர் டிஸ்மிஸ் மீ ஃப்ரம் த காலேஜ் ஸோ தட் டைம் தே அப்பாலஜைஸ் அண்ட் ஐ அப்பாலஜைஸ் டு தம் அண்ட் டேசர் இட்ஸ் ஓகே you proceed but make sure this talent goes in the right way that's what my professor said and ah uh, india yeah english tamil i think he is coming in a tanglish i yeah. i think i am speaking british english <laughs> no <laughs> indian english i don't know what is that indian english okay i'll try i'm a pesrathu da na pesrathu okay this is my english sk english you try to understand this english <laughs> so this journey all began in my college days in my the first stage uh, when i did my first year of engineering my friends pushed me on the stage and said do whatever you feel like audience should enjoy it. that day the entire auditorium went wild and that was the starting point man but the, at the time could i didn't realize i will go to movies i will do films but i always wanted to entertain them and now also after getting this much of love and appreciation i still have in my mind okay i have to entertain them in all possible ways and try to give better films and better myself in uh, each and every film that is the only point is in my mind now thank you i think i'm communicating it properly <laughs> சிவா உங்ககிட்ட ஒரு டேலண்ட் என்ன இருக்குன்னா 
you started off as a mimicry artist mm. but you have come out of that ena ellarkum oru nerathile oru bayam irukum ayyo ena enakku innum niyavu irukku ninga endha maadi ki ponaalum ninga aarambichathu kalakku povudhu yaar kalakku povudhu yaar la ninga nariya andha maadhiri mimicry panuvinga so kalakku povudhu yaar pannumbodhu over maadil erumbodhu please imitate this person so please avangala maadhiri pesi kaatunga adu irundhathu ungalku did you ever have this fear that probably i will be put into a bracket and i may not be able to break free from that and make shivakartikin the brand that i want to do uh, like uh, i i started with vijay tv in 2007 so 2007 uh, from an engineering passed out student and i can't think i should make myself as a brand and the logo la namakku arivu la illa na so i i tried that but mimicry artist i felt was that was the visiting card to enter the office that's what i felt i can't uh, run the entire life as a mimicry artist because in especially in uh, uh, tamil nadu we don't have uh, culture like uh, malayalam industry uh, mimicry artist can become a hero they they have so many big examples who started as a mimicry artist and became a, a national award winning actor but in tamil nadu we don't have uh, that kind of culture yes there are so many so many i i, I got inspiration from so many malayalam uh, heroes uh, yeah. so i thought mimicry should be my visiting card but uh, to enter the media industry but i i, I should improve myself or something else then i realized i can become an anchor there so because the only reason i wanted to become a television host is television host was there in the one full hour show contestant comes for 10 minutes television host comes for full one hour because they say the sponsor's name so they cannot edit that they have to say the show name they cannot edit that so my face will get registered that was my first thought <laughs> with this first initial four episodes i came only for 5 5 5 5 minutes then i realized um Uh, didi dashni was the host didi was the host didi is coming full show how to come in there <laughs> only judges and host comes in the full episode we can't become judge i already told in one show i think to become a judge you have to you have to you already you should have achieved something or should have been senior you should have been aged so i didn't have i didn't have both the qualification so i cannot become a judge in a television show but so i wanted to become an anchor then i thought anchoring like uh, there there were so many big renowned anchors so i wanted to break that pattern just casually interact even if i do mistake i wanted them to be in the show let the audience enjoy let that be a casual interaction so that's how it started man i wanted to be an anchor because i want to come in television for one hour <laughs> your honesty has been the best policy of your life no that was the only truth because i never had a big confidence of becoming okay i am going to become a mimicry artist then i anchor then i am doing films then i become a hero i am doing big budget films i never had that plan or anything man because but i think god had plans for you to bring you where you are today yeah maybe you know some people are just specially blessed uh, by the almighty and you are one of them yeah, you know on solvanga on the time la vanda the most blessed person god's favorite child tamil cinema la yaar apdi ketta ka rajnikanth na solvanga and i think uh, you know superstar bangalore lende or conductor a irundittu inge vande inniki nama tamil tamil mattum illa india ode or superstar apdi yaarana ketta adu rajni sir solluva so apdi irukumbodhu you are the blessed one boy a very very simple boy from a very humble background to the unstoppable sivakarthikeyan what makes you tick with the audience the personal connect ma'am i am one among them but but i think you guys are like uh, much more brainy or brilliant than me because i never attended any film festival you guys are into a film festival and you are searching for something good and already you have succeeded in your life 50% is done i think because you are in the right place uh, searching for something else but i never win like this but i have i have been a very good cinema lover and very good audience that was my first criteria to enter into cinema i think uh, i was a very very big rajini sir fan kalevar fan but i watched all stars films 
maybe first day or second day, uh, whatever film they have done, they are successful films. I watched only in theatres and from the year 2005 or 6, I never watched any film in a pirated version. So, till now, till now. So, that was my love for the cinema. Uh, so, I think that that was my route man, because um, I didn't have any plan because I didn't have any example like someone coming from television uh, getting into cinema uh, in in Hollywood industry, Tamil cinema. So uh, I had to try whatever the opportunity they gives me, I want to give my 100%. So I should learn something from that and give something, um, give my, my whatever I have, I know, I should entertain them. And when it started working, then I realized People are accepting me as an entertainer in the television, so I should try this in cinema also. Because through cinema, I can reach many more audiences. Uh, my ultimate aim was to reach as many people as possible and entertain them. And uh, I want my face to be recognized and I want to be appreciated. That was my always, 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 that was my only aim. But Ninga Soninga, that you always felt that you were one among the common man. Yes, ma'am, exactly. Is that the reason the kind of films you chose? Because either you have to choose the stories or the stories choose you. So what was your uh, idea? That the stories come and choose Shiva Karthikin or Shiva Karthikin very consciously chooses a story which connects with the audience, whether it was Namavita Pillai, whether it was Dawn or whether it was uh, Doctor yes, or uh, Remo for that matter or whatever the films you have done, even your first film, Yedir Nichal. Unga Valke or Yedir Nichal. Yedir Nichal, people who don't understand what Yedir Nichal in Tamil means, it means against the wave. So I think, you know, when you're pushed against, when you walk against the waves, you show your maximum strength. And the very first film as, as the lead was Yedir Nichal. So he proved himself that he can you know, walk against the waves and you can shine. So, how do you choose your subjects? Initially, I chose the films which I can do because I knew my limitations. I was very scared of doing so. Limitations? Shivakarthi can? No. No, yes, yes. It was, it was there man, because uh, I was not prepared for uh, doing films. I got my marina opportunity exactly eight hours before my shoot. Previous night, Pandra sir said, I like your auditions. Tomorrow morning, your first shot will be in Marina Beach. You'll be there at 4 o'clock. So that's how I got my selection and I didn't have any time to prepare also. And from that time, um, I didn't prepare myself. So I knew I, I can pull up these kind of roles, but this, I don't know. Slowly, I have to get into it. Uh, in the first five, six years, maybe, I chose the scripts which I could easily do or I could do some justice to it. Now stories are choosing me, that's what I feel. Uh, after all the success people have given and got some budget also now. So now stories like um, Maviran, Doctor, Amaran now. And uh, so especially Amaran, it chose me, that's what I feel. Because Kamal sir would have casted anyone. If he calls anyone, anyone would have uh, come and did that film. But this, that story chooses me. So now the story is choosing me, I think. And we have noticed that every film of yours is always laced with happiness, there's humor, there's joy. So is that a conscious effort? Because you seem to be a very quiet person, but you also seem to be a very, very content and happy person with what you have. Unglodiya aasaihal, per aasaihal, yada Quiet person, when the Indian man, when the stage, okay, go to international film festival. So, Anala, I'm behaving like this man. Illa na abdi, no, I will not be like that. Um, but films, now the humor, I, I felt humor was my strength, and I was appreciated in television for that. So that should be there in the films also. Whether I, uh, whether I uh, act the role uh, clearly or properly, that is secondary. The humor should be proper because. Sometimes the humor that was appreciated in television might not get appreciation on big screens. The big screen timing and everything is different completely. Because uh, in television when we work, there will be 10 cameras, so I don't have to worry about it. The editor takes care of everything. Whichever is the good part, he will select and he will. When 
when i went to the uh, movie shoot it was very very different every line it should be performed properly and different angles they used to take again i have to do again i have to do why did i do any mistake no 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 that was a long shot it was a close up shot that kind of experience i had um so this bridging itself was a very challenging part for me man so so i didn't want to take challenging roles also because adapting myself to a bigger screen big screen or shooting cinema shooting self was a challenge so i thought humor should be there as my shield uh, as my god so i i always thought humor should be there in all the films and people also appreciate me for that so and i think the only film without doing any much of humor was amrit now they have given a very big appreciation for that now i have to think about it so so now i have that uh, 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 confidence i took from the audience appreciation is like you do anything but you do sincerely with genuine effort we will appreciate it that's what i took from amar you know when you do comedy a lot of people feel that doing slapstick comedy is about being vulgar it's about making faces or slapstick comedy literally means slapping people around but unglodi a comedy alla paakum bodu it was very natural there was something very natural about it which comes easily to everyone in day to day life you also did a film which had a complete dark humor yeah. i mean nobody can carry that off moham paatha ka in the puniyo pal pudikuma and the madri moham vechittu you have done the comedy how do you balance it no doctor was a like proper experiment man again we don't have a very Uh, so many films as a reference for doctor kind of uh, because we are doing a uh, experimental film in a commercial respect with that kind of budget so um, nelson and myself we worked in uh, television vijay tv for so many years and we were friends so we had the trust on each other and when he said you are not going to react in this film i felt like how it will be i don't know i don't know how audience will receive it no no you just be with that stone face it, it is fine then the rest the screenplay and other characters will do okay why not let us try because when there is a friend to support we'll get the confidence naturally so we tried doctor uh, but doctor's biggest uh, uh, covid everyone got affected by covid but after covid doctor came and people went to the theaters and they laughed so much and they enjoyed that humor now it has become nelson style now so he is making a bigger film with dark humor Uh, so I tried it as an experiment, man. Uh, doctor was a pure experiment. It have been this way or that way. But I really enjoyed it. But I felt doing doctor was easier for me than doing other films because I had to just sit quiet. I I had all the energy even after pack up. So I used to ask Nelson, "Am I working really? I I used to think I really work hard so I can come up in life." <laughs> but this film i'm just coming doing no everything is perfect so i stopped watching the monitor also i saw the edit after the shoot got finished the entire shoot got over so i tried with that when people appreciate okay when as i said like it was made very clearly communicated the dark humor properly they enjoyed it and then it's fine so we can try that from engineering to cinema but when we look at your background your dad was a superintendent of police yes sir did you ever want to become a police officer like your father is yes, my initial like my childhood when everyone asked what do you want to become i want to become a police officer like my dad uh, because i always see him with the uniform and with his gun and the gun salute parade and everything i was always inspired by him my hero so i want to become like but my dad thought uh, i should become an ips officer and i should become his senior so when i get into the posting and he wanted to salute to me so that was his aim and when he suddenly passed away my mom got uh, like she said no i'm not going to give one more person from my family to the department we are doing engineering you just go do some work then i did my mba because i didn't understand what engineering was <laughs> there is many engineers in there are like any engineers here Okay. okay. I think but no, engineers are around but do you understand engineering is what is important? What engineers are actors? Yes, right. because we got as I as I always tell like when you can clear engineering max no you can do anything in your life. 
that's where the confidence came in. So I felt like, okay, engineering, I didn't understand, let me do MBA. And I started MBA, but suddenly a television came. But uh, Dad's demise changed everything. You know? That was the turning point in my life, I think. Uh, I was I was depressed. I don't I didn't know what to do. I don't know how to communicate it to others. So to to escape from the depression, from that sadness, I I got into the stage, and that claps and appreciation was the therapy, and that gave me a positive root, and just I continued with that. But the initial idea was to become an IPS officer. Now I'm doing that in roles, I think. <laughs> But you know, Shiva, when you say it's so heartening to see that, you know, advice of your parent uh, definitely brings down your confidence, your morality, and you feel that you have lost the biggest hero of your life. And to escape the negativity, to escape the depression, the sad part of it, you took a different path, which is a very, very positive path. In today's times, very unfortunately, we see the young minds, they are at crossroads where they do not understand which path to take. You are a parent yourself to three young children. We all know the kind of bond you share with your daughter. And uh, you know, I and you have been through that phase. I want you to tell the audience what path they should choose and how they should choose which is the right path. I want because you know I feel Cinema and mainly actors like you, they look upon at and they learn so much from you. What you do on screen, in the Kaitatil, these applause is not for what you perform on screen, but how they resonate and they see themselves in you. So what is that one thing you would like to tell the young minds and say that, listen, I have been through this and I want you to do this. It's not an advice, but something... Say, it's you know. not an advice, but I think it's more like, you know, you tell them what is right. Because I feel you take the right advice or take the right uh, meaning of life for someone who is as successful as you. I always felt like we can, like, like a bird, we can fly anywhere, maybe all over the world, but come back to your nest and believe that's your best protected place that can only protect you. So that's what I believed in. And so, your nest is? Huh? Your nest is? My home, my home, my family, my family. When my mom, my mom said, my mom was like, she, she did only eight standard, but she knows life better than me. That's what I felt. Like she has lived on life and she knows plus and minus. So she said like, you don't have to become a police officer. You study, but even I didn't. I didn't study properly. I didn't take that path. But I, I like I listened to her because I wanted her to be happy. Because because of her, I was there. Because after my dad's demise, she made my sister a doctor, and me an engineer. And then I asked her, I will do MBA. Okay, you do MBA. She had little money, and she gave me, and she got help from her brother, and she made it. So I always think I have to take care of them. So that was my base. So to the youngsters, I want to say that only like you, you you always think like I should be in a very free mind, free space. Uh, parents are always controlling, but they always like they they work for us. They think about us. They are they think about us more than us because they have seen both sides of life. They will advise like it will be very irritating most of the time, but you just hold on to your roots. That is enough, I think. Right, so. So wonderful to see, like yesterday I had in conversation Mr. Nagarjuna and then we were talking about the legacy of his father. And when he, you know, actually stressed on this point that how important it is for us to have the family together because however, whichever heights you go to, you have to come back to your roots and that root is your family. And here you have the most successful actor of Tamil cinema today who is the peak of his career and again he's talking about you know the elders at home and keeping your family together I think this is one message we really really have to take it out in today's times because in this busy world we have time for everything but we don't have time for our parents or for the elders at home so I think we have to make that one extra effort to make sure that that one hello to your aging parents at home makes a hell of a lot of difference to your lives not only yours but yours 
And another one more thing, what I am following now for the past two years is like uh, using social media very less. I am giving very lesser time to social media. And you have you have so much of information, so much of positive things. And if you want to use, you use internet. This is my kind advice, but don't use much of social media, especially Twitter. Maybe I think I think Elon Musk might block my account. That will be the first success, I think, for me. <laughs> no, I feel like uh, if we come out of that, I had a very free mind space because no one is feeding their thought into my mind. I, I when when something when goes wrong in my film, I use. Usually, when we find one one film flops or like when one of our work doesn't go well, we'll just con we'll get confused and we we'll try to find where the answer is. That time, I used to search my answers in social media and I confused myself. I did different kind of films without understanding what the film is. Everything happened. Then suddenly one day I realized like how it works. Stick to the basics. Usually, when cricketers go out of form, they just stick to the basics. Mm, just keep the front foot properly and keep the head strong and then face the ball, defends it properly. So like that I realized like no, this social media came in between. When I was in television, these things didn't influence me. I got the um, appreciation or anything from the audience, from the ground. When I get onto the stage or when I go for any other event, I get feedback. They say, I saw this episode, that was really good. And majority of the people, if we meet them in person, they will not say your negatives first. That is the biggest quality of Indian people, I feel, always. Like, irrespective of the languages, they always, they might be, like some of my films would have disappointed them, but they would have just avoided that and they said only positive things. So, I take that as, okay, why those films work? Because of what? Not only because of me, because of the story or because of the, way it was presented, so I tried to stick on to the basics. So last two years I am quite off from social media and that really, really works for me. That's a fantabulous advice actually. Uh, this conversation will not be over if we do not salute the man who portrayed the character of a very, very courageous man who gave up his life for the nation. Salute to you, Major Mukundan. How do you look at yourself when you were playing that role? All, all praise and everything the Zamaran is receiving now is because of uh, Major Mukund Vardarajan sir. Because he was a... We, we used to say that word selfless. So when I heard the story, he was a complete picture of what selflessness is. Because he's from Chennai, from this tip of India. He went there to Kashmir to say all the people there didn't even think about his family. That time his daughter was three and a half years old and he didn't even think about it. He saved his own team, um, a true leader. So this film success is because of um, his sacrifice. Sacrifice is the biggest, biggest, biggest heroism. So um, after this I might do any film with, I might hit 100 people, 1000 people, but that will not be 100% heroism. This Amaran is pure heroism, that's what I feel. They say courage is not having fear in life, but having the will to face it. And I think that should sum up for the life of Major Mukund Bharatanajan. Shiva Karthikian, thank you so much, but Apri Poh Muria, the audience on the Naria Kelvi Hill Kaker of the Katayara Kanga. So I see a lot of hands going up. Where's okay. the mic? We are friends, so please Wait, we'll ask get the mic. easy questions, okay? Uh, can you bring the mic? I, I, I will give one by one, okay? Uh, give it to the gentleman here in blue first. One, two, I want three, to... Four, like that. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Inge, inge or kelvi I okay. have already given the mic to him. Please. And please keep the... Uh, I don't want any opinions. Uh, I just want very crisp questions towards Mr. Shivakantikin, please. Yes, and easy questions, please. Hi, Anna. Hi. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. No, no, no. How are you? What is your name? Tani. 
and i am lokesh bhagavathi a film student from coimbatore tamil nadu first okay, of all yes lokesh also from coimbatore yeah lokesh kadaraj okay one more lokesh is coming i think yes ma'am thanks and first of all i would like to uh, give a big salute to you because it's not uh, not at all a easy thing to make uh, small screen to big screen na you have 3 plus 50 crore movies 2 plus 100 crore movies and 1 300 crore movies it's a big thing really it's a big thing na not at all uh, you are marching towards 25th film but you have this much box office collection first of all the big salute na and now the, the word has changed my father and mother will say like this if shivakarthik in film got released let's go not minding about the story not minding about anything shivakarthik in film got released let's go it will be good like that do you know thank you my question is very simple na many are not like that okay our field is the most toughest field i think so it's not easy to achieve in our field so many are quitting in the half itself i have seen many one so many are quitting without without even trying and after trying they are quitting we can't succeed in this field like that way they are quitting in your life do you have any moment now you thought of quitting this field because you can't do anything like that way any moment and you want to say to them don't quit just try one day you will achieve like me like like that to any moment not like me more than me because like uh, you you said everyone will be will get tired at some point and especially last 5 years was the most toughest it might be uh, it, it might be more tough also in the future but first time i was facing the continuous pressures we cannot discuss so much about uh, that on stage because that's part and parcel of and See, this industry is very tough because where there is more fame, more money, there will be a big pressure. You don't know. Tamil Nadu, I come here so long. When we are fighting a war, I'm the younger to learn. There is another we can fight back. But in this industry, we will tell you from where the arrow is, like in English, I don't know. Oh, arrow, arrow. arrow ah from where the arrow comes from so in this industry you will never know where the arrow comes from so you should keep, keep on uh, shooting everywhere so that's how the industry is i thought of quitting but luckily i got aarti i think she's she said no no we can't do that you you got into this industry after everyone said my family first they were very skeptical about it because what you know about this industry who is there who will support you who will guide you who will tell you what to do and what not to do why you are entering this you have, you, you learn something you just go with it we don't want uh, more money or something let's live peacefully i said i am not entering this to make more money i want uh, as i told you i want more appreciation i want more class i think i can entertain audience i will do so and one point of time i thought i told arti like let's do some business and let's get out of this and she said no when you had nothing you fought so much you have something you, you know people are giving so much of love now why can't you fight more uh, that happened two years back and i did i did so thanks to rp i had all those hard but i always tell when i can achieve you can achieve more than what i did so that's what i want to say okay, okay ma'am lady here thank you very much there was a lady here thoppagi correct ah irukku nu nenikiren kudichukenga and the mic avangalukku kudunga and the lady in black Thank you, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Hi, SK. This is Anisha Anwar. Uh, I have actually two questions. One. Choose. Mm. Please, please, please. 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 Second our... is not a question. No, 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 not please, answer. We are running out short of time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So just take yeah. one question, please. Uh, do you think you have achieved a milestone when your movie is clashing with such a superstar movie, still Amar and stayed strong and become a big box office hit? so do you think you have reached or accomplished a milestone and one more thing sir idu enoda aasa kuda it's just a suggestion when are you coming to enga urke epa varinga epa or malayala movie panna poringa and uh, and you two questions over oh no last year, last year. we are running out of time uh, can you answer the question you have asked yes, uh, i forget questions illa illa like it's about the milestone and also velaikaranla okay. fahad fasil vandu kalakana mari neengalum malayalam industry la vandu you should also do consider as a sweet revenge <laughs> okay first question is like no uh, amaran success is 
not my success, it's the film's success, the team's success. I can't take all the credit. Uh, what I can take is all the love. That is only for me, only for myself. Because that love grows up. Uh, but credit, it goes to everyone, everyone who were there in Kashmir, mm, the stuntmen, everyone. So our success is for them. And uh, as I told you, like competition is there, but we don't make films to to stay in competition or win competition. And I should not take that route, I think, because I have seen all the heroes from childhood. And whoever is in industry right now, I've seen their films and they have made some impact on me. And uh, now I am also doing films. That's how I see my film. And Amar and success is Amar and success alone. It's not only... Okay. 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 என்ன <laughs> 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 ஆஸ்ட்ரேலியா <laughs> 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 ஆசைப்பட்டீங்க <laughs> 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 Yeah, please go ahead. One sec, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, hi. You're a huge inspiration to me after mm-hmm. hearing your interview. To be very frank, I don't understand Tamil, so I've not watched Amaran. But I had walked through... Amaran is in all languages, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada, Hindi. Yeah, it's but... Coming on Netflix, I'm promoting my film. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to now watch it in Tamil although I don't understand it oh, okay. after hearing your conversation now my question is pretty simple sir like I also started uh, for the industry being an anchor I run my own podcast called Speak with Sushant where I okay. interview celebrities in my interviews like almost about 1000 interviews have done okay. at least 60% are engineers the actors are engineers okay. i just want to know what is the reason behind that and also do you have any inspiration from our industry that's Canada like we have rakshit shetty rishab shetty puneet rajkumar do you drive any inspiration from any of these people being an actor today yeah, thank you basically engineering is i told you engineering mathematics is tougher than cinema i think <laughs> <laughs> so that might be one reason and canada film industry i am the first person i know from canada film industry was uh, shivraj kumar sir and he always like gives all the love and respect and then um, Uh, and one person like I, I i love everyone's work whenever a good film in canada industry or any other industry comes i watch it i respect their work but what yash did in canada industry is remarkable it was canada industry success it when it was kgf1 when kgf2 came it was indian film industry success but what but what yash did was remarkable from nowhere um he took himself to another level also his industry to next level oh, that was remarkable and i always admire yash conviction okay yeah, um, next kantara yash yeah, started and rishab brachit they are doing it i love uh, um, uh, rachit shetty and rishab shetty is work i watch all those all their all right films. can i take a question here yeah the lady here kudunga hi sir hi Uh, my question is, there are a lot of people here. We are Viscom students, first year Viscom students. But I don't know how to start the cinema. So, now I'm going to 
புதுசா ஸ்டார்ட் பண்றவங்களுக்கு உங்களோட அட்வைஸ் என்ன சார் இது நான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் நான் சொன்னேன் இல்லையா யூ ஆர் இன் ரைட் பிளேஸ் யூ ஆர் गोइंग टू फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स एंड यू आर वाचिंग ऑल गुड फिल्म्स आई थिंक यू आर वाचिंग फिल्म्स हियर आई आई थिंक दिस इज अ राइट स्टेप टू मूव फॉरवर्ड बिकॉज़ फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स विल हैव फिल्म्स दैट हैज गुड फिल्म मेकिंग गुड स्टोरी टेलिंग गुड कमांड ओवर क्राफ्ट मोर देन दैट इट विल बी mostly more, i think only films that are politically right only will be screened here and that is also very important for film makers i think and you are on right track you have started up really well just there is somebody from this. telugu who wanted to ask a question i love you sir telugu ekada <laughs> hyderabad oh here yeah. okay what's your question they have a mic there okay hi sir good morning hi namaskar ji hi i am rohan from ramanadu studios hello rohan sir actually nenu like me movies starting nunchi chustunnanu like indaga meer chepparu like amaran vachesi like very like humor leni movie ani but dawn movie lo meer aithe like perfect ga balance chesaru anipi ma feeling sir so like uh, first half comical way second half like you mm-hmm. made everyone cry sir like sta- like i do i won't cry in general in movies but uh, where in like like while watching dawn like whole theater sir whole theater was crying sir like question prashna adhe na yeah like it's not question like my experience of dawn <laughs> movie in your exp- like your feeling ante na question leda nenu appude cheppa question aithe adigandi ledante chaala mandi unnaru okay give it to the lady right at the back ma'am once again once again i have a simple very very simple question you love him about too? sir you love him too i think everyone loves okay. him okay good sir one question is that uh, about eternal song that you made uh, like anirudh and ani singh made so what was there in your mind behind bringing yeah, ani singh for your i think it's that that was your first movie yeah ani singh anirudh sorry i i didn't know about that. i was just there in the song recording I, and anirudh introduced me is ani singh oh ani singh hi hello hello the song only i got oh, really great then i started listening Hello, good afternoon, sir. sir. This is Vanda from Etiraj College, Women for Chennai. Hi. Uh, so your inspiration to many. You. Uh, like you have went from small screen to big screen. You have done production as well. You are a lyricist. Like, can we see a lyricist as a as scriptwriter or a direction side? I was an assistant director first. Uh, I worked with Nelson in Vaitai Manan. Uh, Nelson Vaitai Manan. so i wanted to become a director before but now i realized like direction is the very toughest job in this industry and it needs lots of patience and and to understand all the crafts and uh, human resource management everything we should know and right now i don't want to take that risk let me concentrate more on acting and become a better actor that's my only uh, so what about script writing no no, no. script writing is also that needs lots of patience i think I have so many ideas. Maybe if any director asks me for an idea, I give that idea. They should write and direct it. I will just act. Okay. Thank you, sir. We are sir. completely short of time. You will have to apologize me. Ah, uh, please let's give a round of applause for Mr. Shivakarthik. Thank you. Thank you so so much. Thank you so much. I hope I really conveyed everything properly. And best wishes to all of you. Thank you so much for all the love. Thank you so thank much. You so much thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us, Shiva. And thanks to Kushbu ma'am for this. Even. I should thank, thank you. Mungalodi busy schedule kar nadu le na kete wada na baare suniye. Thank you so much. And once again, we have of BC and the ministry.